Bonjour, bonjour, and welcome back. Have you ever wondered why we have in some French letters the little hat or what we call the inverted V on these vowels? Well, let's learn it today and understand with some examples. Let's look at the following examples to understand better. Une forêt, une forêt, une forêt, a forest. Un hôpital, and we do the link, un hôpital, a hospital. Arrêter, 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 it means to arrest, to stop. Des pâtes, des pâtes, some dough, some pasta. Des pâtes, can mean both. Une fenêtre, une fenêtre, a window. Un intérêt, un intérêt, un intérêt, un intérêt. And we do the link, an interest. Une île, une île, une île, an island. Une bête, une bête, une bête, a beast. Le cou, le cou, le cou. The cost. So the main purpose of having these accent, l'accent circonflex, is to, historically speaking, remove the S letter from these English or Latin words. And we can see whenever we add the accent circonflex on these vowels, the S letter is removed. And we can see as well that the letter E in, for example, une forêt, arrêté, une bête, une fenêtre, the E letter is having the sound of the grave accent, accent grave, E, E, E. Another main purpose is to distinguish the homophone, similar words, basically words that are spelled the same but have different meanings. If we look at the word sur with accent circonflex, it means certain, and sur without accent circonflex means on top of or over something. Another example would be une tâche, and the pronunciation as well uh, will be different, means a task, une tâche, versus une tâche means a stain. Another example would be mur, mur means ready, ripe, mature, et un mur means a wall. Pierre est très sûr de vouloir aller au cinéma. Son chapeau est sur la table. Pierre est très sûr de vouloir aller au cinéma. Son chapeau est sur la table. Pierre is very sure he wants to go to the cinema. His hat is on the table. You can see that sûr is with the accent means certain and sur without accent it means over over the table in that example pourriez-vous m'aider s'il vous plaît j'ai une tâche pour vous c'est d'enlever cette tâche qui est sur ma chemise merci could you please help me i have a task for you it is to remove this stain that is on my shirt Thanks. Let's repeat one more time. Pourriez-vous m'aider, s'il vous plaît? J'ai une tâche pour vous. C'est d'enlever cette tâche qui est sur ma chemise. Merci. We can see the difference between the words tâche with circumflex accent, tâche, which means a task, and tâche, which means a stain without the accent. And we have as well plaît which have as well the accent in s'il vous plaît. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and support us and leave me any comments or any suggestion you have.